Hello, hello, my brothers and sisters. Uh, this is Prophet West, and I want to release a, um, a prophetic word, a prophetic word uh, to someone and someone's um, for the month of June. And we know and we realize and understand that the month of June is the uh, sixth month of the year. And we know that on the sixth day, God created man in his image and his likeness. And even at the end, God, the Bible says that uh, God breathed into the nostrils of man and man became a living soul. And so it was complete. And after God had created man on the seventh day, he rested. And what I want to say to you today and to some of you today is this is your hour and your season for things to become complete. God is completing some things. There are things in your life that's incomplete. There are things in your life that uh, there's no understanding, complete understanding of it. In this particular hour and month, God is going to cause things in your life to become complete. Completeness means understanding. God is going to give you the understanding concerning your job or your direction. God's going to give you the answer concerning your petition, your prayer requests. And um, one of the things that I've noticed also, this is a season, an hour, where God is birthing out or birthing through. Or this is a harvest season where uh, things are coming to coming to fruition. Things are coming, um, coming ripe. Things are coming ready and done and prepared. In this hour, God is preparing you. You will be prepared. And there are things, there are things in you God is preparing. In this hour, those things are becoming birth. Through much pain and through much pressure, it is becoming birth. Wisdom. Some of you, you've been asking, you've been seeking for wisdom. Wisdom is becoming birth. There are even some of you that you're looking and you've been asking for peace. In this hour, God is bringing peace. In the midst of your storm, God is teaching you peace. God is developing you. In other words, God is maturing you to the point where the things that you face and the things that you encounter in this hour, you will be able to shake them off because peace. God is going to give you peace and protection. God is going to give you understand, understanding. Also, God is going to give you some of you foresight. Where you're able to see down the road of peace. Uh, where you're able to see a little farther uh, in this hour. Also, restoration. God is going to restore. Many of you that listen to me, they're going to res God is going to restore uh, your health. Some of you, you've been sick. You've been sickly. God is going to restore your health back to you. And some of you also, also one of the things that uh, God has been moving up on me. Uh, in this particular hour. And the Bible says that in Matthew, the 20th chapter, and I think around about the 30th verse, as he was journeying, the Bible says that there was two blind men that saw him and they began to cry aloud. And the disciples tried to get them to hold their peace. But the Bible says that they cried even louder. And Jesus heard and Jesus healed them. And they said, uh, have mercy on me, son of David. And God, Jesus healed them because they cried out. He had, in other words, he had a compassion. He was compassionate for them. He felt them. He moved. He was moved uh, by their cry. In this hour, uh, this is an hour where God has become moved by your cry. He has been moved by your pain and your struggles. And because he has become moved by and because of your struggles, he's going to respond. He's going to react. Some of you, he's going to bring forth even understanding. He's going to bring forth even a greater strength. But also some of you, he's going to even put you into a place where he's giving you a new assignment. And in this new assignment, he's take you to a new dimension, another dimension. And in this dimension, you're going to face things that you've never faced before. You're going to see things that you've never seen before. But in this dimension, you've already been prepared. The struggles, the things that you've gone through now, the moment that God shifts you into your dimension, your new dimension, your next dimension, your next challenge, your next phase, your next, uh, your next um, 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 uh, direction that God is leading you into, God has already given you the necessary wisdom, the necessary understanding, and the necessary insight to be able to uh, abstract and grow and teach and perform everything that God 
has instructed you and he will instruct you in this next season. And so what you need to do at this place right now where you're given to be transformed, uh, translated or transformed over into the new plateau, the new place, the new wisdom, the new understanding, uh, the new peace. Uh, 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 the new challenges, but also in this new place where there's new wisdom, new wisdom, new understanding, there's going to even be new blessings. God is going to also, some of you, God is going to even seal and give you financial blessings. There are blessings coming that has been held up, that held up in the courtroom. In the courtroom, the adversary uh, troubles and trials and the prince of Persia was holding your blessing back through courts, uh, through analytical stuff, through, through court stuff. But now God said that it's been released. In other words, you're about to receive your blessing what you've been suffering for what you've been waiting on what you've been sweating over what you've been crying uh, late at night when everybody been asleep but you and some of you even you felt like you felt like you were in a place where you felt like you was going to take your last breath at the place where you get ready to go to sleep a mind a thought told you that was it it was over but you discovered the next morning you woke up your eye was open god is going to give you god's going to give you double for your trouble but also god's going to cause those voices to die in this hour, God's going to birth out an understanding. He's going to birth out a sound in you that's going to be so great that the sound in you going to be so great that you're not going to be able to hear the distraction. God is going to cause you to become refocused. There's some of you, God is repositioning you. God is sending you back to the place uh, that you came from, that you ran from. But God has strengthened you and fortified you. And now he's sending you back to that place. Uh, to be a deliverer, to, to be a voice, to be an example, just like Moses. When Moses ran out of Egypt, he had to go back. And when he went back, he went back with God. When you go back to those places that God sent you to, God is going to be with you. His rod and his staff, they'll be with you. God bless you. This is the prophetic word for the month of June. Amen. God bless you.